So, Roisin, first of all, thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. I want to thank you and uh, Cork University Hospital uh, for this great opportunity wow. to start uh, collaborating with us, uh, with SALTI, and also for coming here physically and to be able to, to visit the headquarters of SALTI and also my lab. So, uh, first of all, I want to, to thank you about this. Thanks so much. Our team are really excited to be here in Barcelona with this lovely weather. Uh, to learn a little bit about, more about SALTI and how we can collaborate together moving forward. So I was going to maybe ask you a little bit about how um, academic research works here in Spain, um, trying to connect the patients and the hospital base with the university and, and SALTI itself. Yeah, I mean, I would also like to know also how in Ireland is, is set up, but here there's a long history of uh, academic slash translational research and here cooperative groups play a, a very important part and SALT is one of them. Uh, SALT is a, a non-profit uh, company that uh, aims to, to, to bridge between the lab no, and, and the clinical setting by doing this translational uh, clinical research and we have a very strong network of hospitals slash university because here Usually, every hospital has an attached uh, university, and by collaborating with them, uh, we can deliver this, this type of trials. But SALTI basically has its own ideas that come from their members, uh, not only the executive board, any member can have an idea. And if that idea is promising and we all think that it's worth pursuing, then we put all the machinery behind uh, from the funding, legal, and so on, to make it happen. And also to make sure that the network delivers and this potential study. So this is how it works. It is true that uh, having clinicians doing transitional research is not easy. We can further discuss that. So SALTI has also an objective to make sure that these medical oncologists especially uh, are trained properly in order to run or to know about clinical research and translational research. So we provide fellowships on one hand, or even we have a part-time medical oncologists working for SALTI. And this is the way to get uh, to know what has the talent that we identify in, in Spain, uh, promising physicians you know, that they want to see patients, but also they want to do you know, research. And SALTI can help them reform and understand and also be involved in very innovative uh, projects. And thanks to that, we're making sure that we have a good uh, generation of new, new physicians that will, will eventually lead uh, SALTI and, and not only SALTI, but also on their uh, hospitals they can build you know, the structure, the collaboration with basic researchers, right? And that uh, I think is where you see the synergy you know, once you have uh, this medical research. So uh, this is how we set up. It is true, as I mentioned before, that usually uh, in Spain, we're talking about a public health system, mostly. And this public health system um, runs the trials attached to universities and attached to research centers. So usually like here, hospital clinic, there is a triangle between the hospital the university and research centers. Mm -hmm. and, and usually this is well set up uh, yeah, within each uh, hospital. And basically, SALTI comes in transversal and, and collaborates with three partners within that institution and creates a network uh, around Spain and, and, and Portugal. So I think that's part of our success. Uh, after now more than 25 years, uh, we'd say that we are able to deliver these trials that somebody by itself in their place would be a little bit difficult to, to do this type of studies. Uh, yeah. That's why the network is, is needed. Yeah. What about in Ireland? So in Ireland, um, I think we have had a long history of um, conducting clinical trials through our national organization, uh, Cancer Trials Ireland. Mm -hmm. And Cancer Trials Ireland has numerous um, international collaborations, both North American and European. Um, and that has given us the ability to offer uh, clinical trials to our patients. Um, and so Irish patients have had access to uh, many, many novel therapies uh, in an attempt to improve their outcomes, novel diagnostics. So for example, Irish patients were heavily involved in the Taylor X study, um, the Oryx Bonder study, um, Catherine, Pallas, Penelope. So many of these high profile international trials, we have been able to offer those to our patients um, and we've had very good partnerships with industry. Um, so it, it's just so important to be able to access as early as possible these new treatments and um, uh, be able to join with the global community to develop uh, studies and um, treatments that will ultimately become standard of care. 
And I think a great opportunity now is for us to be able to enhance our ability to develop our own homegrown studies and collaborate with groups like SALTI uh, in this regard. Uh, we have um, excellent physicians uh, in Ireland who have trained both within the Irish system, where they've had access to the care of many, many patients, but also have the opportunity to go abroad and train in centres of excellence um, in Canada, in the US, in Europe, and then to bring those skills back to Ireland. And so it's really important now moving forward for us to be able to offer more and more opportunities for our physicians and our trainees to be able to um, do this type of work in Ireland, uh, learn uh, skills in clinical investigation and translational research, and expand um, that portfolio of studies uh, within our country as well, mm -hmm. in collaboration with the excellent scientists that are housed within mainly our universities mm -hmm. um, and research centres and institutes. So we're really excited that this type of opportunity may open up doors um, in terms of both bringing in SALTI trials into the country. Um, and I know that what's really important to SALTI, which is a great interest of mine, is the area of precision oncology and making good uh, treatment choices for an individual um, because we want to ensure that we have the best outcome for our patients, but also minimizing uh, toxicity where it's not, um, where it's not necessary. Exactly. So this is of big interest. Exactly. No, I think we, we share the same vision, mm -hmm. right? And that's why we're, we are here with this, mm -hmm. uh, starting this collaboration, because you're right. I mean, on one hand, uh, pharma is running their own studies, which are of great interest, and we all participate, and, and no doubt that this is helping deliver new therapies. But there is a gap still, no? I think it's where you and I can, can really help in, in, in building up this gap, because as you pointed out, pharma has its own interest, right? Academy might have other interests, and, and we need to be able to, to match all of that because at the end of the day, it's a synergy between different partners. And as you pointed out, at the end of the day, uh, we really, if we want to bring precision oncology, you know, we need to do a lot of translational research. So that's the only way we can really deliver that. And that means you know, to study a tumor's patient samples, uh, to run trials in you know, well selected uh, patients you know, based on the biology of their tumors, right? And, and, and there's much to do, right? I think we are in the tip of the iceberg of precision oncology in general, in particular in breast cancer. We need to move beyond simple mutations, right? Or I mean, everything is much more complex. And, and at the same time, I see that the preclinical setting offers a lot of opportunities, but does not fully recapitulate what's going on in, in patients and in their tumors. So we really need to do the studies where tumor biopsies now are mandated, where we collect, we do the proper analysis, we know how to analyze it and to interpret, and also then learn, and based on that, build ne next trials, right? And I think that's, that's where groups like yours, like ours, can, can do that, no? And if we can join forces in this effort, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be great. So anyway, I'm very excited uh, because I do think this is gonna be a win-win situation. And and again, we always at Salty been been always keen to international collaboration because at the end of the day, it's when you collaborate, is where you you have synergy. You, know? you have, as you explain, uh, knowledge in particular fields that we don't have. You no, know? you have the possibility to collaborate uh, with uh, places at the university that we don't have. So anyway, I think there's where we need to find no places where we can have this synergy yes. uh, together, right, in, in this in this effort and potentially even looking out for other groups that might want to join this this effort. Uh, and I think that's that's gonna be uh, critical. And at the same time if we can help physicians, medical oncologists, no, uh, get trained in this field, no, understand the value. Seeing patients is important, but oncology still needs <laughs> many answers to many questions. So I think there is where they need to see the value of of participating in research at many different levels. It doesn't have to have your own lab. It can be just, you know, knowing who to collaborate, no? participating in those studies. And anyway, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities. Yeah. And I heard you reference earlier some of your studies that have been designed with the support and input of patients. Yes. And this is also really important to us um, in, in Cork. Um, we have developed a new network recently of clinical trial sites, both within the public sector, but also the private sector. Um, and it's going to be really important for us moving forward to ensure that we engage with our patient population to hear from them. Um, what do they want to see? Um, get their input into study design, because we may feel we know what's best for them, um, but it's amazing to um, hear sometimes the patient 
voice and input and it can really change the direction um, of your work. So um, this is of um, big importance, not only for our clinical trial site, but also our university um, to have this more incorporated into all that we do and uh, moving forward. And the other thing that's really um, important in this type of research is that multidisciplinary approach, um, the engagement with our pathologists, um, our radiologists um, and our surgeons, because we need that buy in in order to make these studies successful and bring them sort of from start to to the to the end with, you know, as you said, good sample quality. Um, and uh, again, the, the research team in the background who enables all of this, our nurses okay. um, and our data managers. So um, really exciting times as we consider how we grow and move forward. Yeah, and I think the, the element that you bring in, the patient, uh, is critical. And it's true that countries like yours are a little bit more advanced uh, culturally, I think, uh, into having you know, patient advocacy and so on. I think Spain is changing a lot in the last years, I must say, uh, but still a little bit far away, especially having patients being part of trial design. You know, This is something I think that in Spain still needs to, there's margin for improvement, and probably we can learn a lot. Uh, from you, uh, because I do think it's critical. Sometimes we design studies, and at the end of the day, the um, question they're trying to answer is, is not clinically relevant or, or we're not measuring the right thing mm -hmm. uh, from a patient perspective. So I do think that's, that's also important. And yeah. this is also innovation, no doubt. It's not just genomics. You yes. know? It's, it's bringing in all the partners, and patients have critical voice here uh, yeah. in, this, in this regard. Yeah. Um, we have some national organizations who are really promoting this. Um, the Irish Cancer Society, the Mary Keating Foundation, uh, and then more recently we've had um, a more formal um, patient and public um, involvement uh, group nationally through the universities okay. to promote um, PPI within the universities um, at all at all levels. So I think this is it's growing and, and changing, but I think definitely important for us moving forward to uh, to consider this. No, that's um, great. No, that's great. Yeah. I mean, another aspect is the, you know, where is the academic field going uh, in this regard, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, no pharma is very strong, has its own interest. And I do think that it's much need to reconnect groups uh, like yours, like us, and, and so on, right? Because at the end of the day, the power that we can have together uh, is much, much more than that by going by ourselves, no? And there have been efforts like the breast international group and so on, but I do think that right now, probably new coalitions, new new networks need to be created because um, uh, we need to be strong in this regard, right? And, and, and potentially some trials might need a lot of sample size for whatever reason. Some trials might need you know, a small uh, sample size, but some others might need maybe important. And I think if the academic uh, community is uh, tied together, I do think then we have the opportunity to really you know, get the proper funding and maybe through different sources and not only one, right? And I do think that's another reason also to collaborate, uh, to mm -hmm. really join forces in this field. Well, unfortunately or not, because it's what it is, uh, pharma has most of the funding and pharma is leading and, and uh, the science going on. I don't know in Ireland, but in, at least in Spain, we're not getting funding from public agencies at all. Not, not to talk about running trials, it's like impossible, right? And I do think this is a mistake because there's so many academic questions to answer that I understand pharma will not focus, but then you know, there's the other side where we have a responsibility to, to try to answer them. No? And by going by ourselves, it's going to be difficult. So anyway, another reason to, to join forces. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I think um, groups like SALTI and our group um, and Cancer Trials Ireland, you know, where the physicians are collaborating heavily with the laboratory researchers or indeed our laboratory researchers themselves, um, but being in the clinic and seeing the real problems and hearing from the patients how they're doing with certain treatments or in certain disease settings, that, that's really so important in terms of driving the design. Mm -hmm. It's those clinical problems that will really change the field. Um, as you say, it's, it's the, the ideas coming from different quarters, but it's so important really that, that they're focused on patient outcome and patient benefit. Um, and these smaller uh, trials, these biomarker focused trials are where you can really learn uh, the, these intensive um, blood sampling and biopsies. And I think, I think patients, once they've been educated about the rationale, uh, really are supportive of this. 
and, and where you're going and, and how you're trying to change um, uh, the field um, and then using that as the basis for the larger studies. Um, and if we can drive, I think, our questions that way, I think we can really make a difference um, and then consider other platforms for the larger studies if necessary, but having the, the ideas and the science come through uh, the smaller um, phase two and biomarker heavy studies. Um, so this is of big interest uh, to me. Um, and I think it's it's where we need to go, um, especially in these niche um, subtypes. Um, so we can, um, again, give that personalized approach to each, each person coming in the door. That's excellent. Again, we share the same vision and I'm sure this collaboration will be very uh, fruitful. Uh, thank you again. Hopefully next time I can come and visit you. Yes. Will, for me, it will be very nice and the group to come and also visit uh, your place and better understand no, your capabilities and uh, what you do. So let's plan to do that next time. We would love okay. to have you in Cork. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.